I said a fast question. So uh, my property that had like flooded back in March, I had like three feet of water. You guys are saying I owe like 2,800 bucks. Um, now, do you guys do like a payment plan or something like that? So I had a water line in my house snapped and I wasn't staying at the house. So the water ran and there's a really big bill. Okay. Huge, because there's like so many pull-down stairs. Yeah, but I don't have 2,800 bucks, but I need the water on to sell the house type of thing so they can check it. Uh, I think the first thing you want to do is write a letter to the finance director and ask for consideration on the sewer portion, because the sewer is usually double the water. What's the address? Uh, it is... 6184 Althea Drive. So I don't have sewer. I'm sorry? I, I don't think I have. Do I pay for sewer? It's like messed up right there because I'm right on the line. It was like used to be well and all that. I mean, eventually I'm going to need it. Right, um, so before you start so, a new service, you have to pay the balance on that. Do you guys, like, start, like, a pay Is there any way you could, like, work with me? I mean... Not on that, because, you know, you have to have all the arrears paid before you can start the service back up again. That's city ordinance. Is there someone I could, like, email and, like, ask if there could be, like, something with it? I mean, okay, so it's in collections? No, on the collections analyst, that's what she's oh, telling Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it, it finaled out, so now the account has to be, the balance has to be paid before we can start that service back up again. Yeah, so the whole reason it even, I wasn't even at the hospital, because I was in the hospital. You weren't, I'm sorry, what? I was in the hospital, that's why it ran, so that water had to run for like three, four days. I mean, you should have seen, the, like, the flood I have. And right now I'm having insurance, but I don't think they're going to pay the water bill, right? I don't know, that's something you'd have to take up with your insurance company. They might. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, if, if you have insurance to cover that, then they. Oh might. yeah, I do. It depends about your policy. I can give you a copy of the bill if that helps. That might they might cover the water damage on that. That I don't know. You have to check with your insurance. Yeah, because I just don't know what to do, so I have to check and make sure that no other lines snapped. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you'd have. And to I mean, I'm not gonna right lie. Things turned off. The tool's just a fork where I know where it is. I go stick it and do it, and I'm really just not trying to break the law. <laughs> trying to work with you guys and I want to pay you I just don't have 2800 bucks I'm just being honest right I mean like I said I can give you a bill and you can try to submit that through your insurance and see if they'll cover it you can go that start way. somewhere in, yeah no I got you I got that. you let, let me see about getting you a bill it just depends on your policy you have to call them and ask them well okay so like I'm trying to flip the house obviously because I bought it as a foreclosed house and You're slowly trying what? I'm flip trying to flip the house sell it oh, okay. so before the house before that would transfer over that's got to be that'll yes. get paid right though yes because if not it's going to get certified to the property taxes which is going to hold up but they'll already catch that right so I'll be able to take the money that I profit to just pay you off to no, get what I'm it'll saying? get certified and it'll stop your sale yeah, if it gets certified to the property tax, it's in the state of Ohio. It's not even our code. That's so Ohio could I, like, say that to the agent that I'm selling it to? Because, like, I'm new with this house thing, like, selling yeah. out and, like, all that. Do you understand I what I'm saying? I try to go through your insurance company before you try to put that house up for sale. Because when I bought it, okay. I remember I had to, like, check with, we had to check if there was right. any outs, there was, like, property tax, like, so that's not a part of that same type that's, of thing? It is. Anything could be, any water and sewer in the state of Ohio follows the property. 
Okay. So it can be certified to the property, which means the it's new buy. buyer... It takes on that? doesn't take on that. You still take on it because you're the property owner. Okay. So any sale that you try to do without standing water and sewer to the property could kill your sale. Yeah, right. Yeah, that'll have to be paid before anybody will take that on. So as I said, you might be better off starting with your insurance company first to see if they can get that covered for you. Such a mess. So do you guys ever work like credit cards or like say you or a doctor's bill? So you owe a doctor like two hundred bucks, and then it goes to collections, and then they're like, okay, just give us one ten, and we'll if call it. Go, if it doesn't go to collections, collections is us. If it gets certified to your property taxes, then you have to deal with the county on that one. Okay. I was just like, do they ever flex with you and give you a break? Because this is all water and sewer. Yeah, how high? It's like three grand, we right? Don't deal with your electric there. Can I use you guys for electric? No, we don't service electric at that property. It's probably going to be First Energy. Well, actually, you could go. I was researching. You can go to like any company. You don't have to go to the companies they tell you. They kind of um, just gridlock that. with them because they service you. We don't service out that far. We only service your water, so you'd have. No, to yeah, I know that. I'm just stating. So, like, you could Ohio research uh, electric companies in your area, and there's like three or four that pop up. It's probably not us. Like I said, we don't go that far. You're in the You're on the edge of the township there. Yeah, it's stupid. So that would yeah, be right. um, First Energy or whoever they. They might have separate suppliers that you might be able to go through, but they're going to be your main supplier. It's also confusing. She gave me my license back. That's a good sign. What's it at? You might want to try submitting that to the Sheesh. company. Does it say on here? I mean, that's the, these, that bill went all the way back to October of last year. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, so the leaks. The leaks got to be. The leak. Eighteen. Part of that is twenty-one hundred dollars. Right. The rest of that is just because the bill wasn't getting paid. Um. Does it say how many gallons were used in January? The biggest part of that leak was 575 gallons, and that covers from December 8th I left the bill at the house for 325, February 12th. Okay, and then uh, another fast question for you. I really appreciate your help. Um, fire marshal, so like came in and shut everything. Say that again? So a neighbor oh. called in yes, and found it because I was... He turned it off at the street, it looks like. Correct. Okay, but at that time, then the fire marshal shut the gas off and the electric. Is Do you know of anything? You'd have to check with the fire department on that. We don't have any notice that they Put turned the anything 80. off other than the water because it's all yeah. service. Okay. So you probably had the township fire department probably came in and did that. But is there like a hold that they do where I need to get it approved now because all the water is finally out and like stuff like that? So if I was to, if I had, if I had $2,500 cash right now and I was going to turn Hey, I'm paying this. Uh -huh. Could you go out there today and turn it back on? There wouldn't be like a hold it's by the next day service, so it wouldn't be today. But there's nothing showing like hold fire marshal. No, like I said, the, that would have been the township, Hansville Township. So you'd have to check with them on what they got going on. Where's if that? You owe at? them anything for that? That's not us. Where do I go to talk to? The... You'd have to call to find out where your township's located at. That I don't know. That wouldn't have been us dealing with that. Okay. What was your name? My name is Tracy. Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate you answering. Have a nice day.